What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about The Vanished, a Marvel Shuri novel by Nick Stone. So I was really into the first Shuri book. I think Nick Stone just as an author is really amazing. I think she makes her characters just like very personal, very realistic. So I love to see stuff by her and Shuri in herself, like she is a really cool character. She's a very unique type of character as well. And you know, this series has that middle grade twist. So Shuri is, you you know, 12, 13, she still has her lab, she's still, you know, becoming a princess. And, you know, off of the first book, now we see Shuri actually in training to become the next Black Panther, which was really cool to see. Her best friend is also in training as well. And like, she knows that like, it's gonna be them against the world. Like basically the same type of relationship that T'Challa and Okoye have, like that's the type of relationship she wants to have as well. And their friendship is just so strong Wrong. I really, really enjoyed it. I feel like it touches on so many different nuanced layers. Like they aren't just like, oh, the main character and then like the sassy best friend. Like, no, like these characters feel so fleshed out and so three dimensional and their relationship and their friendship feels so realistic. And I really appreciate that, especially in a middle grade book. So we're not too long off of all of the events, all of the craziness that happened in the first Shuri. I do wanna say though, I think you could theoretically read this one without reading the first one, kind of in a way that like you could read like a comic or like maybe see like a movie without them like really affecting the other. Because we are dealing with like a new set of circumstances. We have a new villain, like new stuff is going on. Basically like the biggest consequence coming off the first book is Shuri in training to be the next Black Panther. And what happens early on in this book is that we discover that a bunch of girls Shuri's age are going missing. So we have a bunch of, you know, 13 year old girls going missing. Nobody seems to really be doing anything about it. Uh, nobody seems to really be caring. Um, and the common thread with all of these girls is that they are all extremely intelligent. Like they all are pretty much, you know, within Shuri's wheelhouse. Like they are, you know, incredibly intelligent in mathematics. They're curing cancer, like all of this crazy stuff. And what I liked about it is that it does kind of put Shuri in like an interesting position where she's faced with a villain and she's faced with these ideals of, are you fully being appreciated where you are now? Like you always have to answer to your brother. You are put down because you are young. A lot of people don't believe in you because you are young, because you are a woman. What if I told you I could take you away somewhere where you could thrive? And that was really interesting to see Shuri deal with. And I think what I really loved about it so much is that she is allowed to falter. Like Shuri is not a perfect princess. Like she is not a flawless character. And I think it was really humanizing for her to be like, you know what? Like, maybe you're right. And like, maybe I would enjoy like doing something like this instead. And that was really, really awesome to see. I was glad that Nick Stone brought that in. I also like that Nick Stone brought in a lot more characters Shuri's age, and she makes a lot more friends in this book as well. I feel like if we're going forward and if we're gonna get more books, like Shuri's team is going to grow so much and it's all going to be these young, bright women. And I just really like that. Honestly, like more than anything, I would love to see Nick Stone's books be adapted into like a cartoon. I would love to see like a comic version of this because I feel like she's just doing some really great storytelling here and it's just very, very fun to read. So I'm giving this book an A+. I absolutely adored it. I think it's just really, really fun. It's exactly what I want to see from Marvel right now and I highly recommend checking out this series. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button down below and and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.